welcome to hashtag mom moments. Um, this week has been a crazy week and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys so let's jump on into it. First thing first, um, what we're going to talk about is how Maddie got into her playpen jump from on being on a coffee table. Like what? I know. Oh, for those of you who are wondering why my name was Eve Jones for like an hour or a half hour or whatever, I don't even know. Yeah, more about me being Eve Jones for a half hour. Traffic in Hamilton, if you live in Hamilton, you will understand that I am so fed up with the traffic right now. It is unbelievable. And that is another thing we're gonna be talking about. My documentary and scripting, just so much on the plate. So let's just get right into it. And I'm not even gonna bother listing the rest off because we'll just go, okay? <laughs> First things first, okay, seriously, the beginning of the week, we had this little play area. Here, and as I'm doing dishes or cooking supper in the kitchen, I basically just let her play and I check in on her and stuff. Well, let me tell you, we usually leave the coffee table in here. I don't think that I'm going to do that anymore. <laughs> because she's figured out how to climb on the table. I usually have it while she's playing behind me beside the playpen and I can't I can't do that anymore. I had to take it out when she's playing because she decided one day to climb on top of the coffee table and climb inside her playpen. Oh my gosh, it's a wonder like that she didn't like like hurt herself because I don't know, this is crazy, I didn't think she'd ever do this. And then like I forgot to take it out another time and I look over, I pushed away from the playpen thinking that she wouldn't like climb onto the table. I look over after doing dishes and she's sitting on top of the cross-legged on top of the coffee table like looking over the gate and I was like, oh my gosh, we gotta take this out now because this is dangerous. But oh, she's a little monkey, like I just, couldn't believe it that she made it inside her playpen and she was just playing inside her playpen like what the heck um so yeah that's uh my crazy story about maddie today like what yeah and on top of that the very same night one of my friends messaged me and say hey um just a heads up on twitter you're now eve jones from an adult profile like what? I didn't think that anybody could guess my password. Apparently they can. I don't know why. Okay, first of all, like, why? Um, you have hundreds and hundreds of adult profiles out there. Why would you just hack somebody's random profile, let alone somebody who doesn't have, like, I have 40 followers on Twitter, okay? Why would you want that? Like, 40 followers following this adult profile that you have like I don't if you're trying to hack my followers um great job I guess <laughs> they're they're just like what the heck so I got rid of that like I tried deleting it I was like what the heck how do I even do this I changed my password I deleted it and I thought I deleted the uh the tweet turns out they pinned the tweet like seriously I was like Apparently this girl in like a bikini and I was like call for a good time. I don't even know but my name was Eve Jones So I got to play Eve Jones for a half hour um, But like seriously like I thought I deleted this tweet and then I got a message from this person who posts everything about Hamilton uh, Shout out to all things Hamilton on Twitter by the way. Thank you for letting me know uh, Apparently they pinned the tweet and they're like what is this and I couldn't see it because I deleted it and I was like What are you talking about? And so it's just this long conversation on Twitter that is now on my news feed You can go check it out um, my links down below of like me just like being like what the heck? What are you talking about? I don't understand so it turns out they pinned the tweet and so I had to pin like another tweet in order to get rid of that pinned tweet That's a new thing to me. I just got back into Twitter so I didn't really know what was going on. The traffic in Hamilton, oh my gosh, okay. So I had to pick up my mom from Hamilton uh, and bring her back to Brantford and it was five o'clock, okay. I said, I'll go down to wherever you are and I'll pick you up, whatever, after my class. No, 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 no. You go down the mountain, there's traffic, traffic everywhere. I only took me 20 minutes, which should have took me like 10 minutes to get to where I was going and it was just a mess. It was an accident like on the 403, so it was backed up. I had to take the back way and that like took even longer and then I get a text from the daycare provider. Maddie hasn't picked up yet. Um, 
It's her Father's Day to pick her up, uh, so I'm like freaking out. I'm like, what's going on? He had no problem with picking her up today, so what the hell? I don't even know. So I was like, what? Like, I'm trying to contact people. What My mom's texting for me, like, hold on, we'll be there as soon as we can. Like, I don't know. It was just crazy, and I was just frustrated. I wanted to be home at that point. Didn't get home till 7 p.m. Left. It took me an hour to get out of Hamilton. Like what? It takes like 40 minutes to get from Hamilton to Brantford, usually on a good day. So this is what has already frustrated me. On the bright side though, Monday I pitched my idea to a couple of my friends in class because they didn't know what they were doing for the documentary. So I was like, hey, if you're interested in mine, like, they were just like, hey, that's a good idea what you have. I think I'm gonna jump on board. Um, so that's great. I have some help now with my documentary and also fresh heads, fresh ideas, fresh eyes. Anything that I miss, she can, you know, let me know if she has any suggestions or ideas. I'm open. Like, this is great. I love it. Shout out to you, Veronica, if you watch these. Thank you for loving my idea and thank you for jumping on board and being a part of my crew. I'm hoping the crew grows. If not, me and Veronica are going to team up and get this thing done and we'll make a great product. There's a lot going on this weekend. Oh, and I had decided one of my assignments um, I'm going to be posting on here and sharing with you guys once that is finished. Um, the due date is October. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to get back to you guys on that. It'll be posted on here anyways. Um, you have to make a website. I did not like my website I had already made for a professional basis because I'm trying to brand myself now. So what I'm doing is I am creating a whole new website with my branding and it's going to be a blog. Yes, I am now blogging. Okay, I figured I'm vlogging. I might as well have a daily vlog, uh, daily blog um, because I love to write and I don't want to get away from that. I already have a script on the back burner. I don't need anything else that I want to write on the back burner either. So this is going to be published and every day I'm going to be posting and it's going to have my YouTube links in it too. It's going to be co coinciding with everything. My branding is coming together and I'm loving it. That's happening. So I decided to create a website, a whole new one, and I bought a domain and I bought a yearly subscription. So I have my domain name that I'm going to be uh, upkeeping every year. However, I made this whole website and I was like, okay, how do I get my domain name on here? Turns out that my domain name was on my other website. And I was like, great, now I have to start all over again. I have to basically erase this whole website. Like what? Like I, I spent like two hours trying to figure this out finally I was able to switch these sites so that my premium plan was on the other site that I already had built um like that I just like the new site that I built um, instead of being on my old site created a year ago so I was so happy that that happened so coming soon I'm gonna have a blog you will see the site tour for my website um coming up in October and that'll be awesome. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a crazy week and I know it's been a lot, but thank you for bearing with me and taking in all this. Challenges uh, I had this week were basically just time. I had no time for it. I'm putting too much on my plate, but you know, for you other moms out there, I hope that this helps you and having a buddy that you know you're not alone you're not going through it i understand as a lot of other moms here understand how much time it goes into raising a child and it really does take a village and you know all this other stuff so i hope you guys look forward to this and i hope i inspire you to do more um, if you aren't already doing more like that you can do it if you're doubting yourself don't just don't and that's and i really encourage you to read my blog as well because it'll just be it's going to be titled daily antics and it'll just be about the craziness of being a mother and that we can follow our dreams we're not just stuck to being at home living for our children we can live with our children guys and we can have a life alongside our children our life does not end when we have kids okay it is just beginning really that's when the full journey starts because we want to live with our children and be someone that our children can look up to and be proud of yeah that's 
all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Hashtag mom moments. Uh, please like this video down below if you like what you hear. Stay tuned for Monday. Big things coming from my Pinterest. That's Halloween's nearing. You'll get to see big things happening. Um, big surprises happening with my painting. I know I haven't painted this week, so I'm going to be posting stuff hardcore like that. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. Uh, check out my channel. Thanks, and I love you all. I now have 31 subscribers, guys. 31 subscribers, and I am so happy. Thank you for all the love. Love you. Peace.